Welcome to the Project Zomboid Guide, Part Carpentry. Carpentry, by definition, is the act of construction or repair of wood or wood products. And in Project Zomboid, it's no different. Carpentry is one of the most useful perks in both mid and late game as it allows the player to fortify defenses, increase storage, or just allows them to decorate however they want. Starting off, you'll have to level up your carpentry level to both unlock more items to construct and increase the chance of moving or dismantling those items. You gain XP through both building and dismantling things, but dismantling is the best way to level up. Each object has a set value of XP when dismantling them, and here are the top three. Large beds give 10 points, large wardrobes give 7.5, and large shells give 3.5. Note, you should always read the carpentry skill books before dissembling any objects. This will increase the amount of XP you get from each dismantling action. What you'll need before you start dismantling is one of any of the hammers and one of any of the saws in your inventory to dismantle items. To dismantle an item, right click when hovering over the desired object and hover down to the disassemble tab. Next to the word chance, you can see a number that represents the percentage chance of correctly dismantling the objects before you begin. The system being that the higher level you are, the higher percentage to get materials. Once you're ready, left click on whatever you want to take apart and your character will begin the action. Now that you've gained a few levels, you can begin building stuff. This is where carpentry becomes a lot more fun because you can now start to turn that little shack you've been living in into a full on castle. When creating an object, you need four things, a hammer, nails, boards, and the level requirement needed to build said thing. Once you have all those things, right click anywhere on the screen, go down to the carpentry tab and hover over whatever category your item fits under. Left click said item, and you'll see a kind of a see-through version of that item. Simply left click again wherever you want to construct that item, and your character will begin the action. Note, sometimes the game may think you want to build your thing on the opposite side of something. Just make sure your character doesn't start walking once you begin the action, and you'll know that where you're building is the correct spot. Some of the most important things you can build in carpentry are braids for storage, rain collectors, and beds for sleeping. But the most important thing with carpentry is that you can build straight out walls, floors, and doors, meaning that you can go into the middle of nowhere and build a home. This allows the building aspect of Zomboid to become much more creative, because you don't have to live out of that house in the Rosewood suburbs. You could simply make your own or upgrade the current building you're living in. To build a wall, it's a slightly different process than all the other carpentry items. First, you must build a wall frame, and then you right click that wall frame and choose what type of wall you want. You can choose either normal walls or windowed walls, but each has three levels. Each level requires a higher carpentry skill and materials, but each increases an upgrade. Level 1 is shabby, and you can basically see through it. Level 2 is better, but not perfect. And level 3 is no longer see-through, and has the most durability. Now, if you want to build a level 1 wall and then upgrade it later, you don't have to demolish the entire thing. Just right click it again, and you can upgrade it to the next tier. A few things to add before I end this guide. A higher carpentry level will increase the durability of doors, walls, and log walls you create. Carpentry does not grant any perks upon achieving level 10. And lastly, cutting down trees and sawing down the logs isn't just the best way to get planks fast, it also gives you some XP in the carpentry category. That's it for this part of the Project Zomboid Guide. Have fun building stuff in the apocalypse!